unfortunately hiring a matchmaking service does like it is kind of a taboo topic and like you know you might bring up the conversation where the girl or the or the man is gonna be like so who the fuck was i talking to if i yeah. wasn't talking to you like is this really you like because you were really funny and chatty right in real life and witty and yeah all. yeah fucking witty as fuck my writers <laughs> yeah um but now it turns out like you're not or like you know you're not really that funny and witty like when wow. the joke you said was it real like you know- chemical x Welcome back to another episode of the Chemical X Podcast. I know you guys are so tired of seeing Veronica and I's face on your screen. So today we have a lovely guest with us. Welcoming Vivi. Thank you. Welcome Thank to you. the show. Thank you. Guys, uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you're listening on Apple Music or Spotify, rate us five stars. So welcome Vivi. I'm, I'm so excited. excited to have you on. You are a very interesting guest, and I feel like a perfect sequel. Last episode, we spoke about dating apps, and Veronica said she would never get on one, and I said, (laughs) me neither, and now I'm on one because I'm single, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So today we thought, you know, having an expert in that region... I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk so, dating apps. Let's do Let's it. talk a little bit about just kind of your job and... Well, first talk about how you guys know each other, <laughs> how we came about. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica literally calls me and she's like, Alessia, I found the perfect guest for our podcast. I'm like, well, tell me. You have to tell me now. So explain to everybody. <laughs> so um, I was at the nail salon, you know, as one does. And I was obviously eavesdropping on everyone else's conversation as one does. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Because when your nails are, you know, take you six hours, you can't go on your phone. You got to just listen to what everybody else is saying. <laughs> yep. So I hear this bombshell broad behind me uh, talking about like all this interesting stuff. She's like, yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to get him a match tonight. And if it's not tonight, I promise him tomorrow. And uh, yeah, he really only likes skinny girls. And she's he, she's saying all this stuff. And I'm like, hold on a minute. You're like, And the conversation went on for like, I'm invested here. I'm like, can I hear the other side? I the wish phone? I was listening to a conversation like this when I was getting my nails done. What the fuck? Like, babe, pass the phone. Anyway, so she was basically on a work call uh, just talking about all this kind of matchmaking stuff. So I took my chance when my nail uh, artist was like, can you come to the other seat right (laughs) beside hers? I said, thank you, Lord, because I wasn't about to say, hey, you know, like with the mask too, you never know if they talk to you. And also, you don't know how she's going to react. She's going to be like, why are you eavesdropping? I was so nervous. I was actually trying to be quiet too during the call. (laughs) That's the the best part. I was like, fuck, people are hearing me in the nail salon. Like, I'm like, like, make sure you do this. This, like like this person to sh- well, okay. let me tell you veronica was listening yeah <laughs> yeah you could have whispered as much as you wanted i was like well my eardrums to the <laughs> so she sits me beside her and i'm like i'm like and we have like the fucking plexiglass yeah. and everything like everything to not meet a new friend you know crazy um so i'm like i love your nails loser oh, i'm a loser God. what kind of pickup line is that Yo. legit i was like Thanks. Like, really? <laughs> thanks. You know, she, she was, has no nail polish on. She's going, what the fuck? She was like, not my best work, but thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, I love your nails. She's like, oh, thanks. I'm like, by the way, I was eavesdropping. Like, are you a matchmaker? She's like, yeah. And I was like, listen, I have a podcast. and Classic. I just listened to this whole hour long, and I would love for you to do it on the podcast. So here we are. Yay. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so yeah, so we kind of, you know, spilled the beans that you are, let's say, a matchmaker. Modern day hitch, you know? Modern, Modern day, day hitch. hitch. Wow. I actually never watched hitch, so. What? What? It's She's classic. like, that's my, so I got my job description. Oh my God. You never watched hitch? It's for real? I think so. It's like the typical, like, you know, everyone does the stupid Cupid move, uh, Q, Q-tip move or whatever it's called. Do you remember <laughs> when it came out and everyone started yeah. doing it? They even threw it at the end of the movie. There you go. <laughs> Hey, well, like, should I have done my research beforehand? Absolutely. Before this podcast? Anyway, she'll give you a little description about what it is. Yeah, yeah there, it's my life, literally. <laughs> literally. So. Okay, yeah. so how did you even get into this? Um, I actually was in school in Ottawa in university. Okay. Uh, I was on my last semester. Um, so I graduated actually in something totally different, which was law, policy, go- policy, government, and women's studies, right? I feel like we always do that. We always just oh, we end up in yeah. something that Detour. was never what we studied. Yes. But in all fairness, though, like literally my entire life, 
people have always been asking me for like relationship advice. Vivi, do I text them? Vivi, do I not text them? How long right. do I wait? What do I say? And I was always like that go-to friend that was like, don't do this, do this. You know, fuck, fuck him. No way. <laughs> no, no, right. you know, like, right. Um, so, you know, I was in my last semester and I'm just like looking through jobs and I was like, I really want to do something like from home, uh, something that, you know, obviously I can't do something in my field until I graduate because, right. you know, of course, getting a job after university is like super tough. They're like, have all this experience, but you just yeah. spent your whole life like studying, right? right? And get $2 yeah, an hour. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, so I'm just looking through jobs and then like by fluke, I see Matchmaker. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm, like, wow. Just- Where did you find this on Indeed? Yeah. Wow. So I was like, let me just check it out. Like, this is not a real job, yeah. right? Um, so You're like, scam. Out. Yeah, 100%, I'm into it. 100%. I was like, this is 100% a scam because it was like wow. too good to be true. It was like remote. Um, you know, obviously I make my own hours and all these like wonderful things with the job. So I was like, okay, well, I'm good. I'd like relationships, singleness. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm great when I'm single. I'm a fun time. I love being single regardless. Right. So, um, and I love being in a relationship. So I was like, let me check it out. Right. So I read through it. I'm like, okay, let me see. What are the, like, what are the requirements to get this? So, <laughs> the requirements, weirdly enough, were She's not... She's like, it's a hot girl. That's what it is. <laughs> requirements. No, they were not that much. It was just, like, you have to be a big people person. Like, okay. that was one thing. And then, like, obviously, like, you know, you have to have interpersonal skills. You have mm-hmm. to... Because, like, I manage... T- like, I have my own team that okay. manages, right? So, okay. a bunch of kind of leadership skills. Okay. Um, so, I was like, I fit this. I'm good at love. Like, well, let me see. <laughs> right. Um, so... I, I'm like, let me apply. So to apply, at first I checked out, obviously, the company I work for. Mm-hmm. Um, it was completely legit. I was like, okay. Yeah. So to apply, you had to send a video of yourself. And I was like, no way. That's like, where job applications always lose me. Wow. Videos. Yeah, videos. <laughs> like when like, they're like, send a two minute video. I'm like, never mind. I don't want it that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was literally like in pajamas. Um, and I'm like looking and I'm like, do I send a video? Do I not? And I was like, you know what, baby? Fuck it. What about yeah. the worst case? I don't get the job. Right. Like, yeah. You know? Uh, so I sent a video, most awkwardest video of my life. I changed into like a turtleneck. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Because I we have to be, to be sophisticated yeah, and hide prof- behind the fact that we're sluts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I changed into like this turtleneck. I put my hair in a back bun. I was like professional. <laughs> <I'm dying. laughs> You're like, what do matchmakers look like? Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing fucking huge hoops. Like, you know. Um, so I put this like 10, it had to be 10 minutes of like who I am where I'm from, what are, you know, uh, wow. why do I feel like I'd be good at this? Like, so I, I spill this whole 10 minute video. Right. Um, I replay it. There's like in the background, the light is shining. So you see like half my face, but like, nonetheless, I did it pretty well for like a first timer. Right. Like I was sweating, um, <laughs> like no makeup, hair in a bun, big hoop earrings. I was like, whatever. It's, you know, yeah, Jesus, just... take the wheel now. It's all on you. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I send it in. I get a response like three months later and I'm like, three months? yeah, like I gave up on three the job. Months. I was like, I didn't get the job. It is what it is. Uh, three months later, I get a reply and they're like, you're going to go for your first interview. Long story short, like six interviews and three months later, I became a, m- a matchmaker of training. No yeah, like, training way. Of three months. Yeah, six and what interviews. was what, six interviews? What was training like? It was intense because um, part of my role is like managing people's apps, right? So I'm okay. managing their apps, their sites. Um, I have like in my computer what we call like a hub. Um, where I mimic their phone, essentially, or I mimic their tablet, I mimic everything that they see on their screen. So what, okay, if I'm okay. going, let's just say, into someone's Tinder, and they're going in, like, we're seeing the same exact thing. If okay, I'm going wow, into someone's okay. eHarmony, I'm seeing what they're saying. So I'm literally mimicking lo- their location, where they are, like, everything. Okay. Um, so I got trained first on, like, all sites, platforms, apps, so, like, niche sites, niche apps, okay. um, specialty, like, exclusive ones, um, LGBTQ plus ones. Okay. Um, like, any lifestyle one, fetish ones. This is so cool. Uh, yeah. Crazy. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and then, of course, like, I had a few of, like, my beginner clients, because everything falls kind of on, like, a... A level of things so like okay. you have like some clients who are on a certain level what di- different from others obviously um and so i like started with like my beginner clients um and i'm always i'm already a people person just in general so i was right. like slid just slid in there like comfortably <laughs> yeah um my first client he literally made me cry he was such a jerk and i was like fuck this job like i don't like but then afterwards i got like really good clients um and it was just a good time so that's how i and then 
weirdly enough like i was like oh i don't know if i want this job this and that and then doing it more and more i was like fuck i'm actually really fucking good at this like yeah. i think this is like you know when people are like hey what's your secret talent i was always like i don't fucking know what my secret talent is yeah i think this is my secret talent legit wow like, wow yeah well it's not a yeah. secret anymore yeah, right? <laughs> how long did you, did you wait it out until you were like this is for me i waited five months okay, okay. so i did it for five months um, and then every time I got someone new, how did, how do you get somebody new? Okay. So the way it works is like they call in the company. So they okay. speak to what they call like a salesperson. Um, okay. So, so they reach out to yeah, you guys. They reach out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and then they choose a package. So it goes by hours. So okay. I spend a certain amount of hours per month on someone's dating app. So okay. when I mean dating apps, obviously dating sites, um, you know, messaging, making sure their pictures are good, their profile text, like we do everything. Okay. Um, so Can you go a little more in depth about like everything you take care of? You spoke about that you even like you have a writer that writes the messages yes. for the person. That's crazy. And they think that they're talking to essentially the guy. If you're exactly. not, if you're talking to a girl, she's sending it to her friends. If you're on a dating app, then there's somebody writing it. Oh, all I'm saying is that <laughs> either way, it's never the person you think. <laughs> it's never authentic. It's me in the back. It's me. Uh, no, but uh, so yeah, so they'll come in. Um, I pick who I want essentially. So I okay. have like I don't just get someone. They're like we have X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, I'll take, let's just say, X and Y for now and whatever. So I pick my clients. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I do so it. So you kind of, like, interview them. It's like a two-part interview. So the first part is, like, very general. Like, what do you do for a living? What's your income? Um, you know, what are you looking for? And I'm actually, like, a very general. And then when I interview them, I go more in depth okay. of what they're looking for. Do they need to have a specific income? Um, you don't. But it's mad fucking expensive. So, <laughs> okay. I mean, like, you need to. So I'll interview them and then I'll find out their preferences. Like, you know, uh, once again, what are you looking for physical-wise? Like, that's a big one. And weirdly enough, a lot of men don't want to tell the truth, I guess, because I'm a woman. So, they'll feel like, oh, you like, know. Like, they don't want to say, like, fuck blondes. And then yes, you're like, uh, so excuse like, me. Uh, they start yes. off by saying, I'm kind of into everything. And then you give them a blonde and they're like, by the way, I like brunettes. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, like, I always tell them, like, listen, I'm not taking offense to nothing. Like, yeah. if you're being truthful to me like it's better for you it's all better for us in the long run right yeah it makes sense if you're paying all this money for this ideal person you might as well be descriptive on what you want yeah Yeah. like i had a client and he was like just like saying like little things like oh you know she's curvy and i was like okay like you gotta give me bro i was like okay but what do you want like big tips and he's like dying he was like i didn't want to tell you i wanted big tips and a big ass i was like okay but you need to though um because i'm gonna end up giving you other women that's right uh, so yeah, so I go through the preferences, um, and the preferences are like really in depth. So like you know height, uh, you know body preferences, any turn offs, deal breakers, um, things like that. Brun- you know what eye color. Um, I feel like I that's a little bit like though. yeah, um, like what eye color, what hair color. Wow. And then from there, I pick their sites. Now obviously depending on their sites goes on what's popular and their income, right? So okay. and especially what they're looking for. So if they're looking to, let's just say. Um, because I do, like, obviously, sugar baby, sugar daddy relationships, too, sometimes. We'll get two, into that, too. <laughs> two consenting parties. Um, it has to be important that it's two consenting parties. <laughs> right. But um, essentially, yeah, so I'll be like, let's just say we have a guy who makes a certain amount of money. Um, and he wants a woman who makes a certain amount of money. I'll recommend more of the kind of exclusive apps. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, obviously, depending on what your circumstance is, what you're looking for, mm-hmm. right? So, some people are just really don't have time and they hire me. Um, okay. Because they just don't have time to swipe. They don't have time. For, they want a relationship. Like, they want to meet someone, but they just don't have time. So, they're like, here you go. Like, here's all my info. Okay. Do what you need to do. So, your packages that you have, it depends on how many sites you put them on, too. It, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, the more sites, the more activity, the more work. And normally, do people want to be on many sites or do they want to be on, like, more narrow sites? Um, Like like I said, like, preference-wise, it depends. But usually, they're really just like, Vivi, I Take trust care you. Of it. Like, do what you got to do. Okay. okay. Um, so, yeah. So, it depends. But obviously, you know, I'll just say... Um, it's a man or a woman since I do, you know, both sexes, um, it's a man or a woman and they want a certain, uh, partner with like a certain income or a certain education level. I obviously know what's more of the exclusive apps okay. app or sites, right? Okay. Because right. people who want a certain level of someone will pay for that. Right. Rather than like kind of Tinder or Hinge or Bumble, which is a little free so you can like find like, anybody could anyone. be on there. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to find someone who's looking for the same, right? So yeah. Right. 
the what's more the app pace. that you kind of is used the most with your clients would you say uh with women it's bumble okay okay um that app is used the most because uh we can take control of it which i really like so like if we're swiping and we match someone like we can figure out if we want to talk to them or not mm-hmm. or ask okay. the client if she wants to talk to them or not okay. because I, I i do ask them in advance like for their approval so either i have some clients that are like Go ahead, do what you got to do. I don't like care. Like you start talking to them, and you do everything, yeah, and then so, other ones you ask for approval. Yeah, so first. I'll match with them, knowing their preference, of course, and then I'll be like, "By the way, we matched with like John from Bumble. What do you think?" And she's like, "Yeah, go ahead." And I'm like, "Perfect." And then we start. So I send what I call an icebreaker. Okay. Um. So just like tips for icebreakers, <laughs> yes. uh, men specifically, yes, <laughs> or even women actually. It's so important that when you write an icebreaker, you end it with a question. Okay. Because that gives more initiative for the other person to answer it rather right. than just being like, hey, so or like, what's just up? before, like, your clients are mostly men, you would say, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. I'm- so, you're, you're like basically speaking as the guy. Well, me and the writer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, I'm doing most of the swiping um, and I'm sending the icebreakers. Okay. Um, so I'm men, also... if you're listening, then you should always <laughs> end with a question. End with a question. I feel like I we kind of said that last yeah. time. Yeah, yes, questions are definitely. It's such good advice. It gives though. like so much more initiative for someone to. So be give like, us like a couple that you normally use. I'm uh, sure you have on rotation. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see which one I use. So actually, weirdly enough, my most popular one was. Uh, it's cheesy, but it worked. Um, was uh, something along the lines of like, "Hey, nice profile. Like covered everything, but tell me like." A, p- a pineapple on your pizza or no or something like that like, okay. I'm really yelling. Okay. <laughs> and women fell for it in new york like women loved it and i was yeah. like okay because so. either you're like i pineapple should not be on pizza or they're like yeah pineapple is the best thing on pizza it, that, yeah. that makes sense but the question like just initiates a response yeah right? Right. instead of just being like hey what's up or like hey yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like the girls gonna be like, okay, hi. I feel like right. even DMing on Instagram, like when you somebody just writes "Hey" to you, you're like, you're not inclined. Yeah, to you're just like, okay. Yeah. But it's if somebody's like, what? Wait, where were you when you took this? You're kind of like, okay, like I'll answer. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I yeah. feel like a question is the perfect icebreaker. Yeah, and like even like any, I always say like situational icebreaker. So if you see like she likes to surf, because obviously you know I'm dealing with people in the U.S. California, New York, beaches, it is what it is. Maybe not New York so much, but California. <laughs> um, but, like, if you see that she likes to surf, like, right off the bat, if he surfs, I'm like, great. I'm, but I'll be like, what's, you know, what do you hate? Like, nice profile, whatever it is. Like, so where do you like to go? Or, like, what do you hate about surfing? Or, like, something right. for her to You be try like, and oh, find okay. something that you guys share in common. Exactly. And, and then, then that conversation just, like, bounces. rolls through. Yes. So that's this like, way you're speaking for her. But <laughs> at least when she goes on the date, she's like, I am actually surf. <laughs> That's it. That's it. But I just like, then my writer steps in when she answers and my writer will continue. So wow. when I do like my interview, we have like all in-depth information about the client. So we can answer all the questions she needs to and down then, to like childhood. That's okay, insane. That's crazy. Yeah. And then how were, long, sorry, sorry how on. long does the interview with your client take for you to have all this information? Um, so it usually takes about two hours for me. Okay. okay. Um, and then I actually add them on WhatsApp because um, I have my little like business WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'll just be like, if I need like, let's just say we match with someone and she or he asks a very specific question, can you answer me right away with an answer? And they're like, yeah, no worries. So wow. I'll just like message wow. them being like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Maggie from Bumble wrote yeah. this, this and that. And they'll just answer me with a question, send it to my writer, my writer will answer. Right. If it's like wow. super specific. Okay. And you were also saying that once like you have the whole conversation with them and let's say they choose to go on a date or whatever, you take screenshots yes. and you send it to them. So yeah. So I give them the option. I said, we can get you a number. We can get you a date. Like we can schedule a whole date. Yeah. Uh, I, they give me their calendar, of course. I don't want to schedule it. Um, I'll ask them like, do you know any? Especially it's in the states, so I don't know all the good spots. Like it's not like here where I can be like, oh, go yeah. here, right? Right. Um, so I'll be like, give me some hot spots. Give me some date spots if you don't have. Like I'll ask around. Um, because you know, I, like people, there's I'm working from Canada. I have some people working from UK. My writers right. from Scotland. Oh my so, god. Like, yeah. Wow. So we're all like different. Um. So I'm like for sure somebody on my team is from New York. This I know is I can so do that. cool. <laughs> how does your I know you said you manage a team so yeah. what is your team consist of I know you have a writer but and then there's you who kind of takes care of like the initial client relations and that yeah. stuff mm-hmm. and then are you just 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 like a writer working with you or is there anybody uh, yeah. else so it's me um I have what what I call like my 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 virtual assistant so mm-hmm. she kind of does the background work so 
um, let's just say we have a match or I sent a certain icebreaker, she kind of takes down the data to make sure like, oh, this icebreaker worked really well in this area. This icebreaker, uh, icebreaker works really well on this app. So she kind of does the background That's of crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Dating is a science Yo, for real. Legit. It's, legit. it's it crazy. Um, yeah, and we have like optimal time where we go on apps because that's when like there's the most popular users. Like there's time wow. specific. What are that's the times? Amazing. What would you say Another the best tip. Times? Um, so anything before noon on an app is super popular and anything after uh, 4 to 11. Wow. I mean, I wow. guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. People are, normally people are working, working at work yeah. before 12. Exactly. That's true. Yes. Everyone starts work at 12. <laughs> After yeah, lunch, that's, even that's if they it. say like, they're working. <laughs> they walk in the morning, they're like, fuck it. Let me swipe. Yeah, Let me swipe. 100%. Right. So if we talk a little bit about your average client, or I would say like you said, it's most common for men to use your service. Yeah. But what kind of thing? So we can talk about men and talk about women, but like what kind of person usually comes to you? Uh, so usually I get a lot of CEOs. Uh, okay. Once again, like obviously it's people who want relationships. And it's you not- said you're single? I am. <laughs> I actually had a deal was like are you single and I was like oh wait were you single at the- because now guys she's the- recently single yeah, I was not single at the time but it was uh it was tempting that must know. be hard like I feel like now that you're single it must be a lot easier to not no, do li- your job <laughs> but like no listen I keep it very professional yeah like, mm-hmm. I do um very professional like I'm very I always tell my clients like I'm casual because yeah. I like to talk shit and gossip with their ma- about their matches with them like right. that give that give that friend vibe but I mean money's money right yeah. and time is money so I'm also extremely extremely professional so it's kind yeah. of a mix of both but you know sometimes you get like the odd client that's like hey Vivi you single and yeah <laughs> Well, now I am. So. <laughs> I feel like now you're in your perfect. You're like, let me use all my expertise. Uh, I'm actually, let me open uh, up all these apps. No, no, oh I'm actually God. on no app. I decided to not go on any app. To okay, be okay. I mean, I, would, I guess when you know, when you're doing it all day long, pleasure. When you're doing it all day long, you want to go home and just breathe. You want to sign off. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And I'm like, you know, I just. But I don't it, know. I just managing people's lives. I don't want to manage my own love life. Yeah, now, you know, and so. Okay, so back to the dating profile. So you said it's mostly men, mostly CEOs. Are so I guess they're people with a little bit of a higher income. You said your service is quite expensive. Do you have like an age range? Um, so the age range is actually you'd be surprised like young professionals. So like young CEOs usually in their like late thirties, early forties, um, or like more retirees or getting to be retired. Okay, essentially. So like maybe more men in their like late 50s early 60s that okay. are like finishing up their years and like want to settle down with somebody now okay. or have been divorced or you know whatever it may yeah. be but usually it's like single late 30s early 40s men who really actually just want a relationship like they want to meet somebody yeah. um either they've had like really no luck with it um and they don't know how to like a lot of them say like i don't know how to present myself properly online Mm -hmm. um so like i'm suck at messaging girls i don't know how to properly represent myself like i feel like what i have to offer in person does not accurately represent what i have to offer online which you know what i kind of see because i get that i meet a lot of guys like that i'll meet in person and then you'll text like when i was single and dating it's like i'll meet a guy in a bar he's so like charismatic he's so sweet and then you start texting and it's like what the fuck you know what i mean like i hate the way you text i hate the way you talk on Tech. That's why you, you when you meet them in person, you're able to like justify the message if you yes. meet them first. But if, if they're going with just message, you're screwed. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So, uh, and a lot of them just don't have time. To be honest, they're just like, you know what? Yeah. I don't have time. And like, what? I work around the clock, and I need yeah. somebody to do that for me. And, I'm like, and oh. what do men of like in their thirties, you know, want in a girl who's you know single right here? <laughs> I just want to know what they need. <laughs> Uh, and do i need to dye my hair blonde just (laughs) curious i'm just wondering just you know uh no so what they usually want honestly is someone usually they don't really care it's usually men in like their maybe late 40s or late 50s early 60s that really give big um like importance on education so a lot of them are like yes interesting um, yeah they're like i want a woman um that has a bachelor and over and some so wow. like anyone wow. lower than we don't narrow it down <laughs> i didn't know i you know what it's funny i guess it's just my personal opinion but i've never thought that people actually dated based off of like education status yes i've always felt like there's way more things people look at before education it's almost like a something that people are like willing to i mean i agree could with. i could see that. but i could see how somebody who's very well educated is like i want somebody that is equally educated as me fair yeah exactly but a lot of them are like i also don't want somebody to use me for my money because right. i have 
happens okay. a lot as well. Uh, obviously, depending on their age and what they're looking for as well. I mean, if you're in your late 50s and you're looking for somebody who's in their, their late 20s, like, <laughs> high chance she's going to want you for your money, Right, sir. yeah. Um, you know, I got right. news for yeah. you. <laughs> you know, um, so... Obviously, if it's someone like looking for like, we'll say the real deal, I mm-hmm. guess, you know, wanting a certain, you know, they're on a cir- certain income level, they're on a certain educational background and they want the same, which is fair. Everyone has their own preferences. Yeah. And I always tell them, I'm like, don't be shy. You, everyone has their own preferences and their own standards. Yeah. So if yours are a little bit higher and you're a little bit pickier, not a big deal. It's going to mm-hmm. make my job a little harder, but it's not the end of the world. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I'll put them more. I wouldn't put them, like, on Tinder Bubble and whatever. I'll put them more on, like, you know, the exclusive apps where, like, once again, people have to pay to be on. Right. People who are on it have more are ones that are known to have higher degrees, higher incomes. Okay. Um, men in their late 30s. Wait, what about pictures, though? Do you also take their pictures or do you just ask for pictures? Uh, so, I have a... Th- there's a photo department that deals with that, uh, but I help select the lineup. So, okay, okay, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll... Oh, by the way, like I, I think I think you guys said this last time, like f- pictures with friends. Yeah. Oh my Big no no. Unless you're the better looking friend, do not put pictures <laughs> with friends, please. Please do not put fi- pictures with friends. Don't it's do so it. true. It just makes sense, you know. Like I feel like even me when I look at somebody's account and they're posting with friends. I'm not looking at who you are. I'm looking at who's the hottest one in the group. Yeah. Exactly. You know? All of us. All of us. Like. And then it's linked to Instagram. I'll go through Instagram. If you have a picture on the app with them, then you're going to have one on your Instagram and I'm going to find the other guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just what it is. Yeah. And if especially you're going to put as a profile photo and like you see that one guy, let's just say on the left, that's really hot. And you're like, please be that guy. Please be that guy. And then you look at the next and it's not the guy on the left. You're like, fuck. And then it also makes that guy who was an eight now a six. Yeah. Because Ben to the right was looking extra cute. Yeah, exactly. And like, it sounds so vain. I always say like, yeah. God, I feel like my job sounds very vain. Uh, but it's like, that's the thing of online dating world, right? It's like, unfortunately, dating has become more online than yeah. it has in real life. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, you have what, like 10 seconds to like pick someone based on their looks. Right. It's very vain to date yeah. online. It is. And That's what we're talking about. It's, it's like shallow. how to stand out. It's shallow, but uh, yes, it's how to stand very. out in a short amount of time before them going on to the next. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So like you literally have 10 seconds. So like we're trying to put that picture, like the first picture that's like that 10 seconds where Their the girl's going to be like, okay. Mm-hmm. yeah okay you know so that's like really our goal okay um but yeah so men in their late 30s what are they looking for honestly preference wise education they don't really care as long as someone has a good head on their shoulders that's a big one that a lot of men tell okay. me um if she has a good head on her shoulders she's um you know she's independent she doesn't need to rely on me that's a big one actually independence and what about like are there specific men who are like i want to take care of my girl yeah, well, I feel like all my clients are like that. I think okay. based on, like, values and income, they're just very, like, you know, I want to take care of my girl, but I want her to be appreciated of it right. and vice versa. Okay. Right. Like, I want her to take care of me. I want to be her best friend and I want her to be mine. Okay. And, you know, like, Amazing. that's, yeah, so that's it. Wow. So, and I'm how high do you think looks ranks in, oh, like, the, the preference? As you big, would say number one? Very vain, yes, and what And what would you say number two is? Uh... I would say looks, and then height is a big one. Height, really? height especially that for makes, women. That makes so much okay, sense. Okay, well, for women looking for a guy with but height. But men, too, a lot of really? them want, like, shorter women. That if they, they wear heels, they don't, like, you know, wow. match up or go higher, you know, things like right. that. Interesting. Yeah. They still want to feel like the man. And what about the women? What are they looking for? Uh, so, woman-wise, okay, weirdly enough, the first, everything that a woman has told me, no bald. No bald guys. All my female clients, <laughs> really? no bald guys. I don't know. I'm sorry to all the bald men out there. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no oh bald men. Really? Everyone. I'm not joking. That was like the... No- I was like, I had my first client. She was like, no bald guys. I, like, I had my second client. She like, no bald guys. I was like... What the fuck is it with yeah, these bald guys? Yeah, trend. Oh my um, god. Yeah, and I Where had, are these bald yeah. guys doing? What are they fucking over all these women? They're getting you know a bad rep. I mean, right? Yeah. Um, and then I had my last client. I just had her yesterday. And she's like, no bald guys. And I was like... This is a fucking trend. Oh like, my god! The, what happens? What's wrong? What with happens if you get a client who comes in and he's bald? <laughs> you say we're not taking anyone extra yeah. right now. <laughs> Listen, I'm so sorry. You're not favored right now. You're oh not my favored. god! Yeah. Yeah. No bald guys. That's a big one. So it's my favorite season, fall, baby. I love fall for so many reasons, including the fact that. Halloween is around the corner. I love Halloween. My favorite season. I heard it's like a red flag if a girl's favorite uh, holiday is Halloween. Absolutely. It's where all the sluts come out. Absolutely. (laughs) But also, you know what's really scary? If we're talking Halloween? What? Hairy balls. 
Nobody likes hairy balls. No, and you need to take care of that with the best in the below the waist grooming with Manscape. Ooh, Veronica, tell us what Manscape is. <laughs> So we actually have the performance package 4.0, which comes with the leading men's ball razor. And it is called the Lawnmower 4.0. And the 4.0 means it's, you know, at its pretty much best. Yep. And we also got a bunch of other things in there, like a ball toner, a ball deodorant. Because, you know, you never know down there when it's cold outside. It might be a little sweaty down below. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, head on on to Manscaped and use our discount code chemicalx at checkout to receive 20% off your entire order and free shipping. That's 20% off using discount code chemicalx and free shipping. So visit manscaped.com. As for our second sponsor of the day, Neonific, you guys are very familiar with this one. If you're looking into adding a little spice into your life, then adding a Neonific light is the way to go. Now with Neonific, you can either get a pre-made sign or you can custom make a sign as big as you want it, as small as you want it. It can change colors. You can basically get it to say whatever the fuck you want. So it's perfect for anybody. Exactly. Customized, baby. We love custom made because we're unique. <laughs> so use our discount code CHEMICALX to receive 10% off plus free shipping and light up your life. And um, would you say when it comes to women, are they, is the number one also looks or would it yes. be? So also look, looks. Women really? are just as vain. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I would always think, like, personally, I would think it would probably be like income or job first, but I no, guess it's, it's looks. looks and then job and okay. then income. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, obviously job and income kind of. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Kind of class. Tie it uh, together. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's usually that. Um, and uh, yeah, women are just as vain, to be honest. Crazy. We're all just as vain. All Everybody's us. vain. All we get a lot of, we okay. get a lot of yeah. uh, comments on TikTok when we post like dating stuff and like DMing a girl and stuff and people will be like, like, uh, touch grass. This is so out of reach. This and is, it's always you guys are guys. ridiculous. Like this is so much games. And I'm like, but it's actually just true. Like yeah. it's yeah. not even like I'm like we're sitting here giving advice on how to write the perfect message, and it's like it's just true. Like yeah. as much as you want to say like, oh, it's a fake. It's a fucking game. It's like yeah, it is. But it is. Yes. But that's what it is, right? It like is. it's like you got to like, play the game, and yes. you are a, you know level master. <laughs> like okay, so now they both. Um, hit it off well the writer and you know the man <laughs> and now they're going on a date and you schedule the date in the calendar and now yes. the date happens they get the screenshots they know already more or less what the conversation yes. is what they're walking mm-hmm. into now they go on their date how does it leave off now like do they ask like if they ask for each other's numbers is your work done and they hit it off do you end there no so um you know we ask for a number as we ask for the date, obviously, like I said, depending on what they want, but okay. we'll always ask for the number with the date. Just, you know, when you're at the restaurant or at the bar, yeah. you want yeah. to text them and be like, hey, I'm here. Oh, right. They already have the yeah. number. Um, I'll send the screenshots. They'll go on the date. So um, obviously, once again, because I adore all my clients, I'm like, yo, come before your date. We're going to hype you up. <laughs> wow. So, I love this. <laughs> so like I call them like, hey, what song are you putting? Like, what's your what's your pregame song? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so it's like they put a song and I'm like, hey, this is, you're a bad bitch. Like you got like, even to my men, I'm like, you're a bad bitch. You got this. Um, and they're like, Vivi, stop. I'm like, you fucking got this. Um, wow. So they'll go on the date. They'll let me know how it is, of course. Um, now, if there's a second date, they'll, they'll always let me know all of their steps, right? So they'll be like, oh, there was a second date. It's going well. There's a third date. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to be serious with this girl. Like I'm going to stop my services. No, wow. No, wow. No, that's it. Um, because usually... Really, I only have clients from one to three months. After one to three months, they've either You're found someone. You're just that good of a matchmaker. No, no, they've either found someone or a lot of times they're traveling or they're right. too busy. It depends. It depends, right? Yeah. Right. Um, a lot of times they'll go on the day, it didn't work out, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to continue for one more month with you, right? Because I go on a month-by-month basis. Right. Um, so like we're gonna continue for one more month we'll see it and then you know and then you're really pushing hard to find and then, yeah, I'm fucking pushing hard to find somebody have right. you ever had an experience where you could not find somebody yes. that fit the description or wasn't working oh yes this actually just happened to me <laughs> um yes so uh, great guy um so he I honestly I don't know what it was, was about him I put him on like his range of interest was uh, girls in their early 20s okay um he was in his late 20s so it worked out you know he he was like 28 29 Mm -hmm. he wanted somebody from like 22 to 30 so like what's the most popular things you're gonna get obviously the apps because let's be honest you're not gonna find 20 something year olds on like elite singles or eHarmony or like these sites where you have to pay right yeah um so i put him and he had specific interests so he wanted um 
like Middle Eastern woman, just Middle Eastern woman. Okay. okay. Um, so Middle Eastern meaning like, you know, um, specifically he actually wanted Iranian woman. Okay. Um, so I was like, you have to open was it up, Was he Iranian? Bro. Yes. Okay, okay. So I was okay, like, bro, you got to open it up yeah. because I'm on an app, I'm swiping, but like, you know, to f- how am I going to land it? Unless she literally specifies in her bio she's Iranian, yeah. I'm not going to know. Yeah. She's just going to be like, quote unquote, classified as like Middle Eastern, right? Right. Um, so he was like, I know it's going to be tough, but like, let's try it. So I put him on the most popular apps, obviously, Bumble, Hinge, Tinder. And I think I put him on Match because Match is very popular in the States. Wow. Okay. okay. It's I didn't know fucking that. popular. Match.com. Yeah, yeah. Legit. And, and would you say it. most of your clients are from New York, LA? Like, where would you say? Montreal? Uh, no. So usually Texas, uh, okay. California, anywhere in the States. New York is a big one. Okay. Um, Chicago, Boston. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like the big cities. More yeah. So. Okay. But uh, finish your story about uh, the area. Like the oh, area. yes. So I've put him on everything super popular. No one bit no one the bit. fucking hook. There was like maybe three girls that I started talking to and they just ghosted me. <laughs> you like, take it personally when you get ghosted. You're like, bitch, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I put so much work into this icebreaker. <laughs> Do you like pineapple on your pizza or not? Yeah, fucking answer me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I actually send second messages to two girls. That's another tip. When you're sending a second message to a girl that kind of didn't answer yeah. you the first time, always write something cute, simple, and cheesy. Like, don't follow up with, like, like you know what? Give us an example. Um, so, like, I'll write something along the lines of, like, oh, I know you're super busy. Um, so, if you need, um, what was it? Like, if you need somebody to tell you, like, oh, pay attention. Or, like, this is your second message from me. Like, here's the message. Like, this is my second message to you. Or something, like, along the lines. Oh, yeah. Like, that. like, this is your simple, sign to answer sweet, me. sweet, cute. Um, and, obviously, mm. some girls take the bite for it. And some other girls are, like, fuck off. Yeah. Right. It's totally fair. Um, <laughs> totally fair. So, like, don't follow up. Like, hey, what's up? You know, like, those messages when you, yeah, guy, you don't answer a guy. And then, like, randomly, it'll be, like, hi. And you're, like, yeah. The they're, best, like, hey, hey, The hey, best hey, is hey. the guys who write, hey, hey. Hey, 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 and then they start getting angry at yeah. you. It's and like, they're like, what the fuck? Well, they're they like, start bitch. with a compliment. They're like, hi, pretty. And then they're like, what the fuck? And then I'm like, okay, their ego's getting bruised. Oh, 100%. Bruised. Yeah, yeah. So always follow up with something cute and sweet. Um, something simple. Even just being like, oh, I know you totally forgot about me, but I'm here just waiting on you. Yeah. Like a little wink or something cute like that. Always. Have you ever pleasure. matched anyone that's like gotten married? No. No? no. My so God. one of my clients is now dating someone long term. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And what happens if they get married? Like, are you like... So you're like a bonus? Can I come to the fucking wedding? Oh like, my God. No, actually, my clients don't disclose that they've hired okay. a matchmaking okay. service. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so okay. they ask me, um, what do you think like I should do? And I say, listen, it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do in your relationship. But unfortunately hiring a matchmaking service does like it is kind of a taboo topic and like you know you might bring up the conversation where the girl or the or the man is gonna be like so who the fuck was i talking to if i yeah. wasn't talking to you like is this really you like because you were really funny and chatty right in real life and witty yeah know. yeah fucking witty as fuck my writers <laughs> yeah um but now it turns out like you're not or like you know you're not really that funny witty like when wow. the joke you said was it real like you know so that's okay. literally me writing all your messages they're going oh what was this hilarious you're going excuse me I'm yeah excuse me too. i'm funny too no but like i do that to all my friends i'm there <laughs> smacking the jokes but and you then... know what it is i always find it way easier for me to help out a friend than to help myself yeah. out oh, yes. like i feel like i can give my friends the sickest things to say and then when it comes to me i'm like okay but wait what do i write like, <laughs> like you know Hi. i feel like it's easier to match somebody than yeah. to match yourself. Yeah, that's it. Like, I'm the type of person... Um, actually, I was literally saying this with my best friend the other day. Like, I'm really great at, you know, relationships and, yeah. you know, this and that and love and all that good stuff. But when it comes to me, I'm <laughs> awkward as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, so you like cheese? Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> You know? Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so, um, and yeah, that's it. So they'll go on the date. Either they see the person um, mm-hmm. for a long time, it turns into a relationship. They, they're they like, goodbye, Vivi. And I was like, till we meet again. Or, you know, sometimes they're traveling or sometimes they're like, you know what? I actually want to break from this dating world. Like, I actually want to be single. Mm-hmm. Right. And I'm like, fair. And so has there ever been like a clash where they were into a girl, but then they were still like, keep me on the site. I want to go on other dates. That... No, I don't think they would disclose it to me, to okay. be honest, because mm-hmm. I'm against that. Like, it kind of goes against what I work with with like i'm not looking for you to fuck around sorry right um, so as soon as they go on a date with one girl you kind of don't send them another 
option. Uh, like, no, so if they're going to be exclu- exclusive with one girl, then they themselves. Because don't forget, these are people looking for a relationship. Like, yeah. they're not really looking to fuck around. They right. just don't have time to do the swiping and the messaging. Yeah. Or they're not good at it. Yeah. Right? So... Um, once they start getting serious with someone, they let me know, like, right away. They're like, oh, so we, I can pause their account, so I'll pause it for a month. And then, you know, if they want it in a month or so, if the relationship lasted, great. Then I'll close them out and be like, goodbye, sign yeah. all the best. Um, and if not, then I'll pause it for 30 days. Um, and then they'll be like, yeah, I didn't actually work out. I'm, can I come back? And I'm like, yeah, everything's open for you. I still got your stuff, so let's okay, do it. Okay, cool. Let's that must be it. so kind of fulfilling to, like, get people yeah. actually from, like, the beginning to like a relationship point i feel like it must be so exciting is, and let's is. say you have a client from new york are you mostly looking for a client like somebody to match with in new york or are you like flexible uh yeah so usually it's just for new like obviously once again depending on what the yeah. preference is um but usually people who are in the city want to stay with people in right. the city mm-hmm. uh but i do have some clients that are like i'm okay to date someone else from a different state okay uh because i and do have a lot of clients who audience. still are working from home and they're traveling like i had one client i think she was in mexico and okay. she was working um so she's like i don't care to travel like i can work anywhere and i don't care to travel for someone mm-hmm. so like that's amazing because wow. you have like a so bigger much audience fucking miles yeah. to like deal with wow uh, but then i have some people that are from new york and they're like i want to stay in manhattan right like i want to stay in manhattan so i'm like okay fair it's gonna be hard but fair yeah yeah, yeah. Um, oh so I wanted to just spin back to when you mentioned that you've dealt with some sugar daddy, sugar baby relationships sure. and like, <laughs> I would love to know the experience with that and just kind of like the whole vibe and how that came up. Yeah, fair. So, you know, uh, like I said, we deal with everyone, uh, obviously two consenting parties. So whether mm-hmm. it be a fetish, whether it be a sugar baby, whether it be, that's fine. As long as there's two consenting parties who are looking for the same thing. Right. Um, and that's what I tell any of kind of my sugar daddy, uh, clients. I'm like, listen whatever you want to do with your sugar baby income wise like you know um, you know monthly allowance and whatever it may be you have to talk that with her i don't talk money like i don't talk business with her okay um and we obviously go on consenting um websites like seeking arrangement sugar daddy meet which is actually very popular more popular than seeking arrangement which because you know you always hear about seeking arrangements, but you never hear about other ones yeah very popular um, so he'll go like on sugar daddy meet and these are women looking for sugar daddy and vice versa. So okay. it works out. So what I'll do is I'll actually get their number um, or I'll schedule kind of a meetup um, and then he will talk logistics with her. I'll just do the okay. uh, like the scheduling yeah. kind of and they'll go ahead. I told him like, don't ask me logistics is all you, my friend, like whatever you want to okay. deal as long as it's consensual. And, and what do know. they normally want? Sugar babies? Yeah. Um, monthly um, allowances. Payments, monthly allowances. Yeah. And yeah. which is PPM, pay per month. Actually, yeah. PPM. <laughs> I, I was like, the what terms. the fuck? I was reading it and I was like, because you know, I'm going in the conversations. I'm reading them. I'm writing them. I'm like, what the fuck is PPM? <laughs> and like all the, the the people are writing PPM. And I'm like, oh, it's fucking pay per month. <laughs> oh my god. And what do they want? The Isn't guys? it pay per meet? Pay per month. Pay per month. I thought PPM. Was Unless pay it's per pay per meet. meet. I and thought it was wrong paper. I mean, they both make sense. Yeah, they both make sense, but I thought that it was actually paper me. Oh my god, I'm in the. I'm going actually according to my sugar daddy dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> PPM meets paper meat. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's so interesting. Oh Do you, my god. Did you ever have a sugar baby that you Re- represented? I guess you could say, but no, I did not. Only no. sugar so daddies. Usually, the females I represent are like very um, well-established women With, who yeah. really either just um are widowed or divorced. Um. Or move to a different city and they don't know no anyone. So okay, I usually represent like really well established and like that's I'll put them on like well established sites where there's men that are looking for the same age range who share the same income who share the same education okay. and like those kind of sites are like elite single silver singles. Uh, e harmony of course is like a big one and things like I, that. I never knew like people actually use like do you ever do like what's it called Christian mingle I did Christian Wait, mingle what's once. that one it's like oh, it's in all the intense. movies you know what I mean yes, it's very intense um Christian mingle is like for people though who like really want to get married like ASAP oh really like, they're not like arranged marriage like, they're not like, they're not here to play around like they're not fucking around like no no like they want somebody Christian they go to church like five times a week they volunteer in church and like they want wow. marriage ASAP with someone how many clients do you manage per month um so depending on my workload right now i have about up to 10 
Okay. Um, okay and it's like, yeah. That's good, though, because that's a good amount. In or- like, I feel like if you do any more than that, it's hard to kind of keep up, keep up yes. and give everything to. Honestly, it, just fun. one dating app, just managing a dating app is just so hard to keep up. Just me managing my yeah, own, I can't keep up. <laughs> Jesus. Imagine yeah, 10 yeah. people. Yeah, oh so it's uh, yeah, so it's uh, up to 10. I don't go more just because, like, yeah, you guys literally took the words right out of my mouth. Like, it takes all my attention. I'm literally working around the clock. Like, wow. my phone is buzzing. My phone buzzes at because we're all in different time zones. Oh. Uh, so my clients are, like, three hours ahead, three hours ahead. So, like, my phone is buzzing and it's buzzing. So, like, I have to put my phone on, like, do not disturb at night because oh that's just God. fucking going. Um, oh you're like, I'm to- trying to get a dick appointment, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Wake <laughs> up. No time for sleep. Yeah. Little do they know they're talking to <laughs> not the person <laughs> yeah and like i talk I call, a lot of my clients call me rather than email me so that's like a big one so okay. i'll take their call i'll well, call them back but that's really nice though that you create that amazing um like connection client relationship, client relationship where yeah. it's like you're hyping them up and you know they kind of feel like they're your friends going on this yeah. date because yeah, i feel like whenever it. my friends come back from a date i'm like bitch call me right away i want to know everything yeah. you know yeah that's it so like that's and i literally tell them after like we finish an interview i'm like listen you th- you think you have a best friend it's me now like i'm your fucking best friend <laughs> wow like straight up i tell them in the beginning i'm like i'm your best friend you're gonna talk to me multiple times a week you're gonna tell mm-hmm. me how your day is going yeah you're gonna, which happens like and it's, like I said, very professional, but also at the same time, it's like that nice uh, friendship uh, kind of relationship, but also, so once cool. again, keeping it professional. Um, and I'm like, I'm your best friend now. Just, just letting you know, Vivi's your best friend. Yeah. Sucks to suck. And they always laugh. Whatever, and, <laughs> I love that. And what would you say the best perks are about your job? I love people, right? right. So like, and I'm, I'm this person where I'm curious as hell and I always ask everyone everything about their life. Um, so I love doing that. So that's like a perk for me because I'm constantly, it's like literally having friends all the time. You know, like the friends who call you or text you or whatever. That's a big perk. Um, I love that. Another big perk is just having places to go whenever I visit the States. Like, Amazing. You know, yeah, exactly. Right. Like I've had clients that are like, whenever you come, like, let me know. We're going to grab a drink. <laughs> like, you know, we're going to talk love. We're going to talk relationships. So it's like really fun that way. Yeah. You just have friends all over the city. Um, So I just want to bring it back again. So you mentioned like sometimes people have like certain fetishes or they want to be on some fetish apps. Have you ever had a client that had like a certain thing that was like, whoa? Uh. <laughs> No, actually, weirdly enough, I haven't had any sort of like whoa clients where I'm like, what the fuck? Um, right. But I've had like, um, like I've had very like picky clients, so, okay. like down to like hair color, eye color, um, you know, tall, like oh, you know, she has to be brunette and it ha- her hair length has to be this length, like wow, that picky. Where I was like, bruh like really yeah. like you know and he's like yeah but i'm like but you realize like sometimes when people post pictures on dating apps it's not super recent right? yeah like she, you want somebody with short hair but her picture may be long but that's yeah. maybe she cut it short now but you just didn't have a fucking selfie with it yeah right right so i've had like picky clients where it's like i don't like i've had like uh body wise like oh i want a girl with like a very small waist i want her to have like this amount, cup of breast which is like oh my once God. again very vain yeah very vain but i've also have women do that as well where yeah. it's like i want a man to do, to look this certain way like to be um, this height yeah to be this height can't be bald can't be bald number one um <laughs> can't be bald one girl was like i no one with any facial hair and i'm like but facial hair is in right now like, oh my I'm God. Like, i was like what about like subtle like you know five o'clock a little shadow bit. yeah and she's like no and i'm like okay Oh my god. Wow. What happens if your soulmate has a five o'clock shadow? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's so hard. He Crazy. just felt like right out his fucking beard and we missed him. Like, literally like, just COVID. catch him and then tell him to shave. Yeah, yeah. these facial hair is the easiest thing to get rid of. Oh yeah. my god. You but can then, always, like, yeah. tweak your character, you know? <laughs> that's it. But then again, I do have clients that are like, honestly, like, Vivi, do what you gotta do. I'm open to all. Wow. I'm, like, looking for somebody who I can trust and have a yeah. bonding relationship with and all of that. And I'm like, okay, cool. Wow. And do you get clients, too, who are like, Looks are the only thing that matter for me. Yes. Wow. Like, I don't care what they... Well, I remember when I was eavesdropping on you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were, like, talking about one client who specifically wanted somebody that was, like, stick thin. Oh, yes, and, and like, you would send him somebody that was just, like, normal. And he was, like, no. And he was, like, getting angry at you. Yes. Oh, my God. I really took notes so during this my conversation. God. So much arguments. Um, yeah. So, he wanted someone super thin. For, like I said, everyone has their standards and whatever. Mm-hmm. Fine. Do yeah. I agree? Do I not agree? Not my business. Right. You know what I mean? Um, You're just trying to find them what I'm they just, want. Exactly. Um, and he's, honestly, great guy. Such mm-hmm. a nice guy. And actually looking for a relationship. Like, actually looking for someone. Um, and he wanted someone like stick thin. So I was like, okay, so he's, he said, but then it's like defined stick thin. Yeah. That's you know? it. So I always tell them, yo, if you're going to have so many like critique, 
critics, critics, wow. criteria, criteria. <laughs> um, wow. Um, if you're gonna have so much criteria, send me a picture. Yeah. Like, send me a picture of an ex. Send me a picture of something. Send right. me a picture of a friend. I don't give a fuck. Just send me someone who's real that looks like that. Because don't send me a celebrity. We all want a fucking celebrity. Right. Like, an ex. <laughs> come on. Oh my god. Always an ex. I always get ex no. pictures. Yeah. So they say I want somebody who looks like her. Yeah. <gasps> That's so weird. Yeah, or like has her features or like her body type or her. Oh hair. That's my god. so. I always find it weird. I just spit. When an ex I w- looks like a, no, I, I yeah, I always feel, find it weird when I see somebody dating somebody who looks exactly like their ex boy girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm like, um. Well, I know this sounds really fucked up, but like, I feel like everybody does really have a type because even when I'd yeah. be out with my ex boyfriend and we would always be like, oh, like she's pretty or she's hot. They always had like similarities to me, like little features. I was like, okay, like you have a type. Like I literally just fell in the box. You did that little check right Like, there. but do you get what I'm I saying? I do know what you mean, but do you also see those people like the girl from Selling Sunset, like the husband, he went to date a girl that looked exactly oh, yeah. like her. Like it's like, I find that so, if I would be the second one, I would be like, what am I, the replacement? You couldn't get over your ex so you chose me? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a type. People for sure have a type. Yeah, I get a lot of ex-girlfriend pictures. Wow. Um, and his ex-girlfriend was toned, but like thick fits. So I was okay. like, she's not necessarily... Like, you're telling me skinny. Like, yeah. Is this what you consider skinny, right? right? Yeah. So I sent him women who obviously like meet his preferences and had that sort of body type. And he was like, no, thinner, 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 thinner. So I was like, thinner? Like, you're like, are you like, asking for bones? Yeah, so I was like, do you mean bony? Because there is, like, bony skinny. Right. Yeah. Um, and he was like, no, just thinner. I was like, no, 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 it's bony. Like, don't yeah. lie to me. Don't lie to yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's my bony. God. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I kept finding him for, like, a like few weeks. Like, women and, like, the ones who, you know, were, like, extremely bony. He was like, yes, I love them. Like, let's set it up. But then the ones who looked like the girl in the picture, he was like, no. And I was like... <laughs> Um, oh so, my God. Yeah, so that's what you heard me talking because I was like, make yeah. sure they're bony skinny. Yeah. Like, we're not fucking around here. And at this point, you're talking with who? Oh, so at this point, I'm talking with what I call my scout. So she's like my right hand man, essentially. Okay. So whatever my clients tell me, she knows. Okay. Uh, like, preference wise. She notes and stuff. it and then she. And then she does the swiping with me. So it's like her and me, we both do it okay. together. Um, she'll send some icebreakers as well. So just like my right hand man, really. That's, that's, that's what I so it. fun. Oh my god. This sounds like honestly gosh. the funnest job. And how long yeah. have you been doing this? Uh right now it's gonna be a little bit over a year. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And the company f- you work for, like, is it a like all over the world? I know you said you work there's people that's working everywhere. So yeah. but is it just based in the, the US? States? Yes, so it's based okay. in the US. Okay. Um it's a very reputable company. Like I said, we're really for relationships. Like we mm-hmm. don't obviously I get the odd sugar daddy, sugar baby relationship right. or like fetish ones, but once again, two consenting parties. Um, our thing is really relationships. Like these are people who are serious. They're willing to spend serious money to find serious relationships that wow. are going to lead to marriage or lead to something or, you know, lead to something serious. Right. Um, so yeah, so they're based in the States. Uh, but my coworkers, because we're all remote, we're all in different areas. So yeah. I have some that are in Texas, like my writers in Scotland. Um, my scout, she's in Philippines actually right now. Vacation. Oh my God. Yeah. So, so she's cool. doing whole Asia um yeah and i have like people everywhere some people in the uk so like we're a it's bunch really of cool. us everywhere yeah that's so awesome yeah. what would you say is like the biggest thing that you've learned on like regarding to dating with your job did that my sentence make sense i would redo it what did you learn <laughs> the most from this job that you could take for yourself or that you could take as advice for other people apart from like you know the icebreaker questions but just like in general like uh, what have you learned give people a chance yeah honestly uh, looks come first <laughs> the first thing is like don't be too um because obviously i ask miles like what's the radius what are you looking for right um don't be too picky when it comes to distance like if you want a certain amount of miles go like a little extra because how am i gonna like how do you not know like the person that's the love of your life is like you want it up to 20 miles and they're at 21 right yeah uh don't be too picky when it comes to miles and another thing like i always tell my clients like listen online dating it's a shit show it's a fucking roller coaster Mm -hmm. um i don't know who the other person is on the other side i'm making my best judgment right you know i don't know if they're gonna answer me I don't know if they will, like, you know, I don't know who sh- who or he or she is going to do with what we're going to give them or talk to them mm, or whatever right. it may be. Take it with a fucking grain of salt. Have fun with it. If someone goes through big deal, just unmatch them. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it's a fucking ride. We'll do it together. And that's it. That's what I always say. Like, that's, that's nice. Why I that's don't comforting. Take to heart. Yeah. Like, don't a man or a woman goes through. Who gives a fuck? They weren't for you anyways mm-hmm. then. And that's it. Unmatch them. And that's it. How was doing this job with like having a boyfriend? 
It was that, good. No, it was fine. It was fine? It was fine, okay. yeah, yeah. So uh, when he actually heard me talking and stuff, he was like, oh, okay, like, you're, like, legit. Like, yeah. you don't fuck around with this job. I was like, no, I don't. Yeah. Um, so it was fine. Uh, and actually, really enough, a lot of men ask me, all my clients are like, how was it uh, having with a boyfriend this job? Like, you know? and I was like, <laughs> I'm oh, just curious. Fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Also, I just thought of this. Have you ever had an experience where a client went on a date and like the person was not what they looked like? What didn't look like their pictures? And <laughs> oh what was the reaction God. there? Uh, yeah. So I tend to. So one of my things is like, I always make sure the girl has a body picture uh, mm-hmm. because you know obviously and even the man too because you know just face selfies can be fucking deceiving right Mm -hmm. um so i had a client who saw a girl and she she looked like fate she was she was gorgeous she was a gorgeous girl she she looked like a nice girl like she she looked great i like checked all of his little boxes everything and i was like listen bro she doesn't have a body picture like i'm gonna tell you right now like it's up to you if body because for him it was very important she was fit because he was fit like he was very into exercise like exercise like five times a week was into like healthy lifestyle healthy healthy this and i was like listen you can at your own discretion yeah i was like you take the chance that's fine i was like but you know not to be vain once again she doesn't have a body pic so you're taking the chance he's like no she's great they were they were texting it was great turns out she was not fit and he was like pretty upset about it but I was like we took this chance we said yeah, we were gonna right. do it we did it didn't work so sorry crazy um, and has there yeah. ever been guys who change what they are looking for after they go on the app and they say they really want a girl who's like bony and then after they they kind of change and they're like actually now I'm into not a blonde a brunette <laughs> and all the time. I want to fucking time all the time even women the same thing honestly men and women are weirdly like they change alike. depending yeah they always change like they'll always be like okay I want this and this going in and and then they'll be like, yeah, you know what? I saw this girl the other day on this site. And like, I know she's not my type, but maybe like, I want to try, mm-hmm. like, let's try this okay. thing. Or like women will do the same thing where they'll be like, oh, you know, I want this profession, this income. And she's like, you know what? Actually, maybe I don't want this profession or this income. Maybe we go something else. Okay. Like, oh, well, okay, fair. Okay. I think the body th- pick thing is interesting. Cause like, I think we actually mentioned this in our last episode. Um, or I don't know if I actually said it out loud, but like, you would just think like, like you're saying some people like bony skinny and like somebody who might be like super thin like that might be insecure about their body and not want to post pics but then it's like you don't realize that somebody's actually looking for that mm-hmm. like yeah. a lot of times people will be insecure maybe they're like they feel like they're overweight so they'll only post face pics and then it's like but you don't know maybe somebody is looking for your exact body type so yeah. would you recommend that you should really show who you are and in the essence because there's somebody for everyone or oh for sure but i mean it's up to what you're comfortable with right yeah some men and women don't want to show their bodies mm-hmm. totally fair right um so i always say like you know do with what you're comfortable with we like we as a team always pick a body shot of like our clients in the lineup yeah just so you know i was gonna um, ask you next what your lineup yeah. was. so we'll always pick a body shot um just so that you know um like a big thing for me is like be honest like i know mm-hmm. that being online everyone stretches the fucking truth like mm-hmm. they do um you know um the only truth truth i like to stretch with my clients i make them an inch taller or two. <laughs> okay <laughs> it's like, if it's like i like five eight i'm like we're gonna put you five ten with shoes it's fine with shoes you're five ten it's fine um that's like the stand most, up straight yeah. when you get on the dates <laughs> uh that's like the most i'll do uh but i mean everyone stretches the truth so like yeah. a big part of me is like, listen, we're gonna be fucking honest here. Like, even yeah. if you're a few extra pounds, big fucking deal. What Someone's a- gonna like that. Yeah. yeah. What, what about I mean? age? Do you guys stretch that? Do people ask you to put a different age because yes. they want somebody younger or older? Uh, so I leave it up to their discretion. I said, listen, I'm not gonna say anything to you if you want to look younger. That's fine with me. Uh, it's just that you're gonna have a lot of fucking explaining to do when you decide yeah. to get serious with this human being. Right. Is that more men or more m- women who want to see uh, women? I feel woman. Like it's a woman. Yeah, thing. I feel woman. like it's a woman thing woman. to lie about yeah. your age. Yeah, yeah. So and well. normally, what's the age where they start wanting to lie? Uh, so, like men wise, usually if they're forty five, they'll tell me thirty five, depending really? on how they look. Really? Because I've I feel like twenty five as a man, yeah. it's like yeah, prime. yeah. So I've had some clients that are forty five, but fuck, they look thirty. Like wow. they're, they're really well kept together, wow. and I'm like, okay. they're stretching it at thirty five. Let's do thirty seven, thirty eight. Okay. okay. Um, they'll be like, fine. So okay. Like, okay. At least, but you're gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Because let's be honest, if you went out with someone and then you find out they lied about their age, would you be like? What the, what the fuck yeah, else are you lying about, gonna, right? That's like, me, my whole growing up. I used to lie about my age all yeah. the time. <laughs> but that's younger. That's because yeah. you were trying to be older. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Which you never know. Sometimes people don't like that. <sighs> I don't know. If someone lied to me about their age, I'd be fucking pissed, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, well, honestly, yeah. when you think about it on the other end, like, when you're doing it, you're like, it's fine, I'll figure it out. And then you're like, 
after you're like holy fuck now it's six months in and they still think that yeah. you know I'm i had 36. my mom's my mom's friend who was on an app and like kind of lied about her age and then once she went on the date if you clarify it i think once you trap them and you're on the date i think you're good if you're going down on the sixth date saying by the way i'm not 35 i'm 50 yeah you're a little fucked yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. um so. okay so now when you make the lineup of your pictures what do you suggest like you said one body picture what else do you like to throw in there um so and no group pics <laughs> no group unless picks. you're the best looking one yeah. out of the group fair 100 percent. okay don't um, be the duff yeah it's but then the, what if they think they're the best looking one of the group? Gonna i'm gonna Sorry. tell them they're not it's fine oh my honest. god um, jimmy to the right is looking a little better in a suit <laughs> yeah no um so i like to mix like candid not candid photos because okay. you also want to look like you have a life right, right. Yeah, like you don't want a bunch of like your lineup to be just like body selfies, pictures or selfies. Yeah. like you know put a little bit more fun like you play like a lot of my clients play golf so I'm like, give me a shot of you playing golf. You know, mm-hmm. put something in Perfect. there. Like the activity. women will look at that and see money. Because <laughs> if you golf, chances are. <laughs> yeah. Or like, you know, I had somebody who wanted someone who was a skier. And I was like, give me a picture of you skiing. Because that, if a girl is looking for someone yeah. who's, you know, wants to skier as well, mm-hmm. to ski together, she's going to see you. She's going to be like, fuck yeah. yeah. You know? Absolutely. Um, so put something of like your lifestyle. I always say, um cheesy but i always say put one of your dog in you because <laughs> right let's, let's be honest we it's said really that. fucking cute okay we're not that far off i know i feel like you're checking all like the advice yeah, that we kind of gave yeah you know? so maybe we are matchmakers yeah, secretly you know? <laughs> um but yeah so i always say put one with an animal if you have one obviously um put one in a suit depending what your job is what about babies if oh they yeah don't have a kid. No, no 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 kids no babies no kids no babies um, unless they really want me to like because i ask them um do you want to portray that you're a dad like if someone asks me if you're a mom or your dad do you want me to kind of portray that? Okay. And they'll say yes or no. I don't necessarily like to portray it in, in photo lineups. Like, if a match will ask about it, then, and if the person's like, yeah, you can go ahead and say, you know, I'm a dad, I have X amount of kids, they're yeah. a boy, girl, whatever mm-hmm. it may be, um, we'll do it. But I don't, I always suggest not children. Um, like I said, you have literally, like, what, 15 seconds to show someone you're meant for them, right? On, yeah. Especially in the dating world. So, like, we want that lineup to be, like, fucking yeah a1 you know yeah and, and i feel like there's a lot of things that people are willing to settle with after they get to know you yes. that maybe yes. right off the bat they might not be down exactly. with you know what i mean exactly. like i think we all kind of not to say settle but you know we meet like i mean at some point you have to kind of meet somebody in you the have middle to compromise, you know there's no you know? perfect yeah. person exactly. out there exactly and like so let's just say you have kids but they don't live with you um, but you have a picture with your kids, the other person who's looking for someone who Might maybe think. doesn't care if they have kids, but doesn't want kids to live with them will be mm-hmm. like, oh, look, you know, sounds like she- a problem. Yes, yeah, exactly. So just kind okay, of to get the opportunities. We don't, I don't do that. No kids. Gotcha. Pets are cool. I'm okay with pets, but lifestyle pics are fine. If it's a cat, <laughs> you know, what kind of <laughs> Weirdly enough, a lot of people don't like cats either. I don't know what it is with fucking cats too, but they're I like, no like cats. cats. <laughs> no cats. Um, okay, so what other like final wrap-up advice do you think that you could give anybody? What about like dating apps in general? How's your stance on it? Because you're like so well-versed. I feel like some people still view it as like kind of a shame. Not, I don't want to say yeah. a shameful thing, but I still think oh, I, I younger. Honestly, I honestly used to think of it like that. I was like, I'm never going to go on a dating app mm-hmm. because like, are you kidding me? Like, I want to, I want that story where I can be like to my kids, like I met him this way, you know, it's, and a lot of people lie too. And they'll be like, Oh, we met out when it's like, really, they met on Instagram mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. on a dating app. I feel like who cares? We're in 2021. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter That's anymore. No one, I feel like it's, if you tell someone I met this person in person, they're going to be like, Oh wow. You didn't or, like, you didn't meet them on. Like, yeah. Like app. it's like, so it's natural. So now. Normalized yeah. now. And like, I feel like, um, you know, like when you turn single, I feel like it's like this thing where you're like, I should be on a dating app. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like there's like this point, I don't know if like you felt like that, but you're like, maybe I should, I should be on Tinder. Like (laughs) everyone's doing it, you know? Uh, I know. (laughs) I I think that's what it was for me, for Ryan. Well, I I also, let me just do it. I also see it as like, you know, we always, people will often meet people on Instagram, but at the same time, Instagram is an app. It's so the what's same, the difference what, of just narrowing down the people who actually want a relationship and so are true. single, you it's know? It's so true. So yeah. I think it's really interesting. Like, did your views on dating apps and, like, using them change yes, after your yes. job? Yes, yes. So I don't... Well, I so I still consider Tinder a little bit of a hookup app, I'll be honest mm-hmm, with you. Yeah. Um, Bumble, like, I used to hate Bumble. Um, that changed. The only... The, what changed, in my opinion, is that there's actually a lot of, like how you know obviously we're in like our early 20s late 20s and we're apps right like that's what we know but there's actually a lot of sites that are like 
for specific preferences for specific things that people are actually like willing to look for like uh for example um there's an app called the league have you ever heard of it there we go <laughs> it's the best fucking app in the world for dating you should go on it legit it's the what best. is it called it's called the league um it's the league it's super popular in like major cities and it's for young professionals who are willing to who want to meet young professionals wow. um but you have to get cool. voted in um to so be like so it's kind of like raya yeah. Okay. yeah so you have to get voted in and i didn't even know that stuff existed i didn't even know there was like so many exclusive apps um, wow. turns out i think also like an app that's exclusive i'm like hmm, let me try and get on i think mm. that also makes yeah. it like i'm not so embarrassed to be on raya if i know that it's something that not everyone could be on yes and people pay to be on it yeah. too, right? mm. um, my number one tip for men is always well if you can of course upgrade your fucking membership so when you upgrade on an app they actually skip you through the line um wow. and they'll put your profile scene more so because yeah. you're paying money for it okay, okay rather than like free users essentially yeah but so. i think even with dating apps there is such a stereotype on it still mm-hmm. but i also think like a lot of people home bodies and stuff they don't want to leave their house but then they want somebody to come knocking at their door it's like yeah. you got to pick your battles you know if you're a home body and you want to stay at home but you want to meet somebody but you're not going to go out or you're going to have to sacrifice somewhere, Yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. So. And, like, you know, you can be on the apps and, you know, you don't know what the other person on the other side wants either, right? Yeah. So you might want to be, you're on, let's just say, uh, Hinge. Yeah. And you want a relationship. Turns out she doesn't or he doesn't. Um, that's, like, a big one. So just, like, that's why I always say, like, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a fucking roller coaster ride. We have fun and that's it. Like, you know, you can't, you can't be somewhere and be like, I want this, I want this expectation. This is what's going to happen when I'm hinged. No, we don't fucking know. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. Um, so that's like a, that's, the, I always say like, just take, take it, it with a grain yeah, of salt. Take it with a fucking grain wow. of salt. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much for coming and sharing. I feel like you're super well educated in this and I'm kind of like happy that you ticked some of our boxes. I'm like, I know. We're experts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank you so much again. Oh, I'm so glad that I eavesdropped on your conversation <laughs> and we got you here. It was faith. It was faith. You know, when you just invade somebody's privacy, it's, good things can come out of it. Go. Crazy. I hope I didn't sound too vain to all the No, 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 no. If I sound vain, I'm not, I swear. It's the I name of love. the game. It's I the love, name of the game. Love. I do. It's just unfortunately in the dating app world, you yeah. have to be a little bit vain That's it, is it is what it is yeah. and you know we, all, like we, we always said, say like it's like a cv you know like somebody's looking at you really quick like how are you standing out what makes you different mm-hmm. and and if you choose like if you hate it so much and you choose not to play like chances are you're gonna lose you know what i mean yeah, like okay. you just yeah. gotta optimize yeah. at the end of the day it's your brand so it has to be vain and it has yeah. to be shallow but right. once you you know figure that out then you're good chemical yeah thank you so much for coming on and uh yes thank you so much we really appreciate you You did amazing